the end of the world, history class that is, is near. Reach out for medical careers, and we have two amazing pictures to show you. Live, or somewhat like it, from the New Media Studio here at Beautiful Valley High School, this is Falcon Flash. And good morning students and staff. Today is Reach Higher Wednesday. It's December 12th for today's Patriotic Observance. We're looking back at one of our lesser known but incredibly important founding fathers, John Jay. He was born on this day in 1745. Let's learn more about John Jay. John Jay was born in 1745 in New York City. He became a lawyer and later joined the New York Commission of Correspondence. They organized ways to resist Great Britain's unjust laws. Jay became the president of the Continental Congress from 1778 to 1779. He was the negotiator of the Treaty of Paris, which ended British rule in the United States. He also served as the ambassador to Spain and was the secretary of foreign affairs. Jay was appointed the first Supreme Court Justice by George Washington. After the Supreme Court, he served as governor of the state of New York from 1795 to 1801. One of Jay's most important contributions was the Federalist Papers. The Federalist Papers were 85 essays that tried to convince people to approve of the Constitution. The essays were written for newspapers by three of the founding fathers, Alexander Hamilton, James Madison, and John Jay. Hamilton wrote 51 of the essays, Madison wrote 29, and Jay wrote 5. They told how the new government would operate and why it was the best choice for the United States. Even today, the Federalist Papers are referred to in order to solve controversial issues. Alright, today's pictures of the day have us looking to the skies for their awesome autumn beauty. Our first shot was sent in by Junior Alejandro Gutierrez and shows some really cool cloud cover over our school. Take a look at that. And our second picture was taken by Ms. Surratt at Monday night's soccer game. This game that you're looking at in particular was freshman contest against Godinez, which as a reminder, was a two to one win for Valley. So not just the sky was beautiful at Valley that night. Thank you to both of you for sending in your pictures. If you have tomorrow's picture of the day, send it to me via email and you may see it here on the Falcon Flash. And now Solace is here with today's Falcon Flash, so Solace, take it away. Good morning, Falcons. Here's today's Falcon Flash. We are at the final four days before finals. Yikes. Are you ready for the end of the semester? Seniors, we only have one more to go. Ugh. Gender and Sexuality Alliance, also known as GSA, meets today at lunch in room 4-2. Please go directly to 4-2 during lunch. Do not forget your front of the lunch line pass. It ends today. Today is the last day of Mr. Shimasaki's after school world history class. Class begins at 3 p.m. On Reach Higher Wednesday, we want to remind those with medical careers on their minds that Saturday, February 2nd, 2019, the UCI School of Medicine is holding a free event for students in grade 6 through college to learn more about the pathways to medical school with presentations by their students and staff hands-on demonstration, and ultrasound, and suturing. suturing, and a tour of the medical simulation centers. Parents and teachers are also welcome to attend. To register, use the link in the Falcon Flash, found in your Falcon Flash classroom by January 1st. And that's it for today's Falcon Flash. And remember, Falcon, Falcon fever, fever, catch it! it.